How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be unboxing this lovely United States Postal Service prior priority mail package. You'll know what it is from the title. It is going to be my first gem accessories. I, I it used to be gem playmats, but I think it's just gem accessories. First product by them. It's not a playmat. It's not a, a, a anime senpai deck box. It's their calculator case. I don't see too many people using calculator cases anymore, but it was definitely a hot thing to have. I want to say like 2011 through 2013. Um, and even like, I guess a little, little later, but they're extremely hard to find, but Jem uh, kindly decided to make their own. So let's go ahead and open it. So this is the calculator that I use. It's the T134 Multiview. It's just, I got it in a lost and found shortly after I started playing and I've just been using it because it works. So, I mean, it's this is made for like the bigger expensive graphing calculators. So I'm hoping that this, you know, f works and fits well and everything. So they have two versions of this. It comes in black and then the inside is red. Uh, this one is gray and the inside is blue. I really, really wish that there was a white option, but you know, not gonna complain. It's made in China. So it feels pretty nice. It's a lot bigger and bulkier than what I thought it was. But if I have my calculator, it's like puny next to it. But I could probably put this on here and then like put the calculator on top and it fits pretty good. This one's a lot thinner than the, the bigger ones, I guess, because I think they have batteries in it. This one's just solar light powered. You've got some pen holders. Do I have a pen? So here's a pen, not necessarily like ideal. You'd probably want to get like a smaller one or even like a pencil. Here's a nice cheap pencil too. So this would just slide in here and then you're good to go. Looks like you have other slots over here. Not gonna really try it. I don't know how often I'll use this. If, if regional or at official Konami events ever come back, it's good to have this just so that we have a record of everything that's kind of going on. Right off the bat, this feels like really nice. It doesn't necessarily feel like premium, but it looks really nice aesthetically. This in here feels like really, really cheap. Um, I'm just gonna rip this tag out. And this was like 34, $35. It was like 34.95, I think. And then shipping was like a little expensive, but I, I thought it would feel, I guess a little bit better quality, but I, I can't really like complain if it's the only option out there. But regardless, let's uh, put some cards, some dice in here and let's see how it looks aesthetically, I guess. Okay, so I got some dice over here and then I have a assortment of different cards. I got like a middle field center. This is the like size of a normal field center. I think it's just standard. I got like two Pokemon cards and then Yu-Gi-Oh size card, just a token. And then this is just like an Orca. Um, it's Yu-Gi-Oh sized, but I think it's, it's either double or triple sleeved. So if you're sliding these in here, it's like plenty big enough to, to like cater to all those. So yeah, like this bottom one, and then I think these all just kind of go straight down. So it actually goes like pretty deep. So I don't know how you would kind of have them poking out. Cause normally like, you kind of have them all sitting outwards. Okay, so that one pocket goes like all the way down and then you'd want to like skip, I guess. And they'll all be wide enough for pretty much all of these. So it's just this first one it goes all the way down behind it, I guess. And then you'll just want to skip. So it's just kind of a cool, I guess, to show off your stuff kind of thing. And then the main reason why I wanted to get one is because my current deck box that I use, I don't have anywhere for like my dice to, ch to chill and a convenient place to like put it. Here, I'll put like this red one and this teal one. But for me with this calculator, I have like plenty of room. And then you zip it up. 
And then I haven't even put this in yet. But I think for what it is, it's definitely worth it. Dice just came down. If I had the bigger one, it's definitely not gonna do that. I'll see if I can put a picture up of like what it actually is supposed to look like on their website. But overall, I'm happy with it. In conclusion, I like it. I think it'll be kind of fun uh, just to have one. I may try to get one of the older like vintage ones that are very expensive. If I can find an all white one, or if you have an all white one, reach out to me and we can maybe negotiate a price or a trade or something. But that's about it on uh, this unboxing. And then thanks for watching.